everyone, welcome to my class. I hope that you are all fine and great today despite of the situation. Just a reminder, always put your mask on whenever you'll go out, wash your hands often, and as much as possible, let's all stay home and together let's beat COVID-19. While at home, we can still make use of our time learning new things. And today, we'll investigate the relationship between volume and temperature at a constant pressure. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell for you to be updated of my latest video. So what are we waiting for? Let's get it started. Tara! Do you know what is this? Right, a hot air balloon. Do you know why does a hot air balloon float? Well, if not, you better stick around and find out. To answer the question why does a hot air balloon float and to find out the relationship between volume and temperature with a constant pressure of a gas, we will use the simulation. But before we manipulate the simulation, let us first get to know what's in here. We have a gas container with a movable piston, which means that we can adjust the volume. The volume is not fixed. We have an air pump to fill the container with gas molecules. Thermometer that will measure the amount of temperature and a barometer that records the pressure but as to this topic, we will hold the pressure constant. This means that we will not change the pressure. First, let us fill the container with gas molecules, of course using the air pump. Now, after filling up the container with gas molecules, as you can see, the gas molecules occupy a 1000 units of volume with a temperature of 600 Kelvin. We can actually decrease and increase the temperature by clicking on the heat and the cool buttons. Take note that gas laws use the absolute temperature and absolute temperature is temperature measured in Kelvin scale. The Kelvin scale must be used because zero on the Kelvin scale corresponds to a complete stoppage of molecular motion. Observe what will happen to volume occupied by gas when we decrease the temperature. So what have you observed? Right, decreasing the temperature results in a decrease also of the volume. Now what about if we'll increase the temperature? What do you think will happen to volume? Let's check it out. So what have you observed? Right. After we've increased the temperature, the volume occupied by gas molecules also increased. So what conclusion can we draw out of this observation? Very good! As the temperature increases, the volume occupied by gas molecules also increases. And as the temperature decreases, the volume occupied by gas molecules also decreases at a constant pressure. Relationship of volume and temperature was presented by Jacques Charles in 1787. He states that if the pressure of a gas remains constant, the volume of the gas is directly proportional to its temperature. Now what do we mean by directly proportional? Directly proportional refers to a relationship between two variables that when the value of one variable increases, the other also increases. Meaning, when we increase the volume, the temperature will also increase. And when we decrease the volume, the temperature will also decrease. But why does increasing the temperature result in an increase in the volume and the other way around? Let's go back to this simulation. This time, I want you to observe the kinetic energy of the molecules 
as I increase the temperature. What have you observed? Right, increasing the temperature will also increase the kinetic energy of the molecules. And because of this, molecules can exert greater force on the container, thus increasing the pressure. However, according to Charles, the pressure must be constant. And to keep it constant, the area from which the molecules are moving must also be increased. Remember that pressure is force per unit area. Now, to maintain the pressure constant, since there is an increase in the force due to the increase of kinetic energy and temperature, the area must also increase. So this is what Jacques Strauss have found out in his experiment. He concluded that volume of a given amount of gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature at a constant pressure. Let us explain Charles' law using this diagram. Increasing the temperature results in an increase of molecules' kinetic energy. An increase of molecules' kinetic energy leads to an increase of the force exerted by the molecules in the container. And to keep the pressure constant with increasing force, the volume or area from which molecules move must also be increased. Thus, increasing the temperature results in an increase of the volume. Conversely, decreasing the temperature results in a decrease of molecules' kinetic energy. A decrease of molecules' kinetic energy leads to a decrease of the force exerted by the molecules in the container. And to keep the pressure constant with decreasing force, the volume or area from which molecules move must also be decreased. Thus, decreasing the temperature results in a decrease of the volume. So now, did you find an answer to why does a hot air balloon float? Yes, this applies the concept of Charles' law. Hot air balloon used a turret to heat the air molecules inside the balloon. The molecules move faster and disperse within the space. The gas inside the balloon takes up more space, becoming less dense than the air surrounding it. As such, the air inside the balloon rises because of its decreased density and causes the balloon to float. Let us now check your understanding. Let us have question number one. What gas law depicts a direct relationship between temperature and volume? If your answer is Charles' law, well done! Let us now move on to question number two. What happens to the kinetic energy of the particles in a sample of gas as the temperature of the sample increases? If your answer is increases, you're right! Moving on to question number three. Assuming that the pressure remains constant, how can you increase the volume? If your answer is increase the temperature, you got it. Let's now have question number four. Which of the following describes the relationship of volume and temperature? If your answer is directly proportional, excellent! Let us have question number 5. 
Julian and Jimmy are playing basketball outside in 82 degrees Celsius weather. If they leave the ball outside and temperature drops down to 53 degrees Celsius, what will happen to the volume of the gas in the ball if the pressure remains constant? If your answer is the volume will decrease, well, congratulations!